Welcome back, everyone. We're here to bring you the third match of day two of the new second New Eden Open. This is CCP Fozzie. I'm joined by CCP Dolan, and uh, you're seeing some big drone ships on the screen there. Dolan, why don't you tell us a little bit about these setups that we're about to have on the screen? So we have here a, a variation on what we saw a lot in the Alliance tournament. We have triple Dominix for Dyslexus, we uh, with actual double little, uh, frigate support and the two Inquisitors <laughs> there, uh, with lots of uh, E-War support. A hyena carries, going to get early quick locks on potentially that Blackbird, uh, and try and keep them down. Meanwhile, we have two rattlesnakes from about as good as a German ski lesson with a sword support, some merlins and hawks and that sort of thing to kill off uh, enemy frigates. Uh, but they also have that key scimitar there, to, which is going to make this tank on the rattlesnakes just absolutely insane. Yeah, rattlesnakes have a shield resistance bonus. They're very, very hard to kill. Um, the Dominix is, of course, a little bit more vulnerable. And we oh, are seeing now micro go. jump drives. So both teams came in at uh, max range, which means that uh, the, this is those be rattlesnakes perfect. are about to land very close to their enemies. Look at that. Yep. Just right behind them. That is some perfect spot. They're probably going to be dropping now guard, uh, short range sentry drones, and that is going to be a great trick because their opponents, they're dropping out ogres. They're dropping augmented ogres. This is an <laughs> all-in no, is... drone team. Those rattlesnakes, as the scimitar already drops, though, scimitar already dead. Ooh, that's going to be a, a big problem there. Now, that scimitar was never going to be within range to actually rep those uh, rattlesnakes anyways, but it really is now up to the rattlesnakes. Uh, this is going to be, a, like I said, all-in strategy. They jumped right on top of their enemies. The uh, Exodus team has bouncers out, so they're long-range sentry drones, uh, and the... Um, German but they'll be, lesson, they'll certainly be dropping and re uh, dropping those bouncers. Those bouncers there to kill the Sumantar almost certainly. Yeah. Uh, they'll be dropping. They switched the guard twos. Yeah. Now. There we go. Yeah. Uh, but th they're dropping augmented ogre twos. Uh, going to be doing more damage. Uh, going to be just doing the the out of control damage that augmented drones do. They're so expensive. That being said, though, we're not really seeing that damage applying. It looks like they're using them against. The, uh, no, the stilettos being killed by the frigs. Yes. Yeah, stilettos uh, being killed by the frigs. Uh, these but augmented they're, they're ogres. Already I need to actually see what they're shooting at because they're not hitting anything very hard right now. They also do take a bit of time to get on top of things. They're uh, going after. There's uh, the Dominix. Look Zraxel. at that Dominix. Yeah, there we go. Zraxel is Dominix. Down. Now he's got all the drone damage on him. Yep. So these ogres they're using are special rare drones. They're quite expensive. You don't see them a lot. Uh, mainly, they're using the tournament because of their expense, um, and their vulner their danger about them is that they take a while to get to the target, as we saw there. Uh, Meanwhile, Alto needs to boost. He better boost very soon, or he's going to go through armor and shields or, or, or armor and structure relatively quickly. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the Dominic's catching reps from those Inquisitors. Yeah, uh, these Inquisitors, I think, are going to actually swing that fight. That Dominix probably would have gone down before the Rattlesnake if he didn't have those extra reps. Mm -hmm. But the two Inquisitors together, as even though one of them is slowly dropping. They are keeping that Dominix alive long enough, and once one of the Rattlesnakes goes down, that's like half the DPS off the field. Yeah, exactly. And they also need to be able to drop these. Like, these Merlins need to get on top of those Inquisitors relatively quickly. You see there the Inquisitor of uh, Mr. Falcon already going down here. Uh, as we see, Alto Draco Draconin's uh, Rattlesnake is about to drop here. And there, there it, goes. it goes. And that means that Zaraxel's Dominix is actually repping back up. It has half the damage has disappeared from the German ski lesson team. Yep, but still a significant amount of damage, but against three Dominixes. Like, maybe if they were able to drop one Dominix and then get the other Dominix into half armor before they lost a single Rattlesnake, that Rattlesnake just was not effectively boosting. I don't know if he was just passive tanked or what he was doing He was doing up there. against a lot of damage, yeah, so it may have just been too much for him to boost through. Um, we are seeing these guys, like, these uh, Rattlesnakes are nuding. Like, this is a team that definitely is built to get on top of the other team, uh, use energy warfare, which is very close range on these ships. But I don't think it's going to be nearly enough. That Dominix is just tanking itself all the way back up now. And uh, it's just a matter of time as we're seeing the uh, Thrasher and Merlin uh, going down and another Merlin about to drop for about as good as a German ski lesson. Yep, and so much new pressure on that Rattlesnake. They're going to shut off Seldarine's uh, hardeners at some point relatively soon. Uh, just from being neutered by three Dominics is so many heavy newts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the fact that they've got their entire core, you can see uh, the Dominixes are just all clustered right on top of that Rattlesnake. Uh, the entire core of their team is still alive. Uh, this is going to be a pretty... Seldrin's going to kill that Dominix. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, like, he's going to go down. And he's actually relatively, relatively healthy. I think at this point they're actually going after the Hawk mainly. Uh, we're seeing... Uh, they've got Augmented Berserkers out, actually. So, uh, Seldry now is a combination of Augmented Berserkers and Ogres uh, trying to apply uh, the explosive damage, but uh, I don't think it's going to be... Uh, might be enough to kill the one uh, Dominix, but it's not going to be enough to win the match. Well, you say that, but he's he's killing a Dominix and not... Oh, well, here he's, here he's catching some damage now. Yeah, uh, the new like pressure is going to come back on top of him. The local rep for that Dominix won't be able to hold, so at least he'll take one Dominix down. Uh, of the millions of Dominixes available <laughs> on Tranquility. 
But yeah, his much more expensive Rattlesnake is going to be dropping not long after. Uh, this is a very strong performance from Dyslexus Weeby May. Uh, it's actually a very similar setup to what we saw We Heard bringing in the uh, very beginning of yesterday, mm -hmm. or near the very beginning of yesterday, uh, where you have a core Dominix team supported by Inquisitors as your remote reppers. Uh, the Inquisitors are very hard to hit for battleships. They're very cheap on points. Uh, so it's a great way for them to be able to spend those points elsewhere. They use it on things like the Hyena and Carries, which are a little bit more expensive than their Tech 1 counterparts. Yeah, exactly. And that frigate, those electronic attack frigates, able to rapidly lock, for instance, the Blackbird here mm -hmm. uh, and get their newts, get their e war across the field before they, they can yep. be locked by the opposing side. Uh, but strong showing here from Bowska's German ski lesson. Really bold move with the two micro jump driving rattlesnakes. Uh, but that's going to be the match for them as mm -hmm. Dyslexus Weeby May taking a, taking a commanding lead, only losing a single one of their three Dominixes. Yeah, I mean, this is a very strong performance by Dyslexus Weeby May, but about as good as the German ski lesson also was came in with a very fun setup, um, a very daring setup and um, gave a really good shot at it. Yep. So we'll uh, see you again in just a moment.